Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I just wanted to talk a little bit about the next generation of Z. Um, it's supposed to be announced next month, so it's supposed to be announced October at the Tokyo Audio Show. And I just wanted to talk about what we know about it and what we expect, see if we like it, I don't know, just stuff like that. And uh, I also wanted to show some of the renderings that have been out there for the car. Nothing has been confirmed yet. As you probably know from watching my channel, I'm a very big Z fan. Um, I used to have a 1990 300ZX twin turbo, wish I would have never sold it, and then I got this car for a daily 350Z, but I've always really liked the Z cars, I've always been a really big fan of them, and I always keep a really, I always keep up to tabs with the new one or whatever's going on with them, and I just want to talk about the 370Z real fast. When the 370Z first came out, I actually wasn't a fan of it. I didn't really like it that much, because I thought it looked too much like the 350. Now, the more the you know, the more I actually looked at the 370, you realize they're actually nothing similar at all. Like a lot of people think that they're just a redesign or whatever, but it was actually a completely different car. And when you look at them side by side, you can really tell the difference. So the more and more I see the 370, the more and more I actually like them, especially the Nismos. The Nismos look really good. So it kind of gives me hope for the new Zs. Although Nissan hasn't really made anything that appealed to me lately, and they like to carry one design kind of throughout all their cars, just kind of make a, so you can tell it's a Nissan pretty easily. But uh, like the Altimas and the Maximas, the new ones, I'm not a fan of them actually. They don't, I don't know, there's just something about them that just doesn't look right. It looks awkward. It, they just don't look that good to me. So I'm really hoping that the new Z looks really good. I'm sure when it first comes out, when I first see it, I'm gonna be a little hesitant about it. I bet you it's not gonna look very good to me. But the more I actually look at it and the more I like see things about it, the more I'll realize it actually is pretty nice. So I'm hoping. Now it has been, I think it was eight years ago that the 370 was designed. Oh, that's a speed bump. Look, that thing was so hidden I couldn't even see it. So it's definitely time for a new one. And I would also like to see new power plant choices. I would like to see new motors and engines and stuff like that, just to see really what a Z can do because I feel like Z's are great and their engines are great for what they are for but I feel like if they had another power option a lot more people would get into them and a lot more people would realize how awesome these cars are. Sorry I'm driving down some back roads I have no idea where I'm at and it might be pretty bumpy I have no idea but yes uh, the new Z has rumors about what engines are going to be in it. I don't know if anything's confirmed or not so as far as the like actual design of the car I am like I said earlier I'm very worried about it but I'm gonna throw up some renders of a couple of them real quick here and this first one I think it's just it looks too much like a 370 still um, obviously it's different but it still just looks kind of like a it looks just like a quick facelift and redesign of a 370 there's not enough change for me for, to like that one I kind of want them to go back to the 90s style Obviously they're not going to, but like something similar, like kind of have the body lines of it or something close to it with the hatch that just kind of drops off instead of having the rounded back like the 350 does. I think that would be awesome. With this second render that I found, um, this one actually doesn't look bad at all. I actually do like this design. It doesn't really look like a Z to me, so I don't know if it would really work. Um, the front end is obviously just a render, so it would look nothing like this, but the back, I think, looks very sporty. I think it looks really good, actually. This, I would be okay with this render becoming something. This next render, it still kind of looks too much like a 370 to me. I mean, this one kind of just looks like a concept 370. It might actually be, I have no idea. I just looked up uh, 2018 Z, the next Z or whatever, and this came up, and I think this is actually just a concept for the 370 because it looks super similar to it. But, and then of course, this is, there's an, this is the one that has been shown around on Car and Driver. That's where I got some of this information from. And honestly, this is the worst looking render out of the group. I mean, this one just looks horrible to me. It looks like it's trying to be like some kind of weird, like I know it is a hatchback, but it looks like it's supposed to be like a Mazda Speed hatchback or something. It looks just super weird. It has, it's too bellow, like it's too long in the back, it's too tall. It doesn't ever really slope down properly, and it just doesn't look right. It definitely doesn't look like a Z. It looks more like a wagon type thing. And then the front end, it 
looks kind of aggressive, but it doesn't look good. I wouldn't, no, I, I definitely don't like the front end on this one. But, I mean, it's a starting point, I guess, but I really hope the body shape doesn't actually look like that one, because that is my least favorite of the group. Let's talk about the new engine options that are going to be on the new Z. So there's going to be a V6 naturally aspirated that's supposed to push out about 300 horsepower. Now, that's pretty much less, that's about a 350Z. So that's kind of weird that they went back on that one. It is a smaller literage, so that is pretty impressive to come out of a 3.0 liter. But I just, I, think, I find it weird that they would go down on the horsepower for that model. But luckily there is another engine option, so that's good. Another option that's going to come out is the 3.0 liter V6 twin turbocharged, which is going to be borrowed straight from the Q60 Red Sport, I believe is what it's called. But that one is supposed to push out 400 horsepower and then 350 foot-pounds of torque, which would be incredible in a Z. That would be pretty awesome to see in a Z, especially from a 3.0 liter, because the 1990 300s had a 3.0 liter twin turbo, and they were only pushing out about 300 horsepower. But this the stock 350Z is still faster than the twin turbo. So that just kind of shows you how far along engineering came and everything like that. Now I'm very excited about this twin turbo engine because that means it will probably have a lot of potential. I've always hated how it was, the Zs are pretty expensive to mod, the parts themselves are very expensive, but the actual gain you get, like price for how much actual horsepower you gain, is almost nothing. There's hardly anything that really boosts the power on the Zs other than turbos. And aftermarket turbo kits for these cars are very very expensive and they're not easy to install obviously so I'm pretty excited to have a really good like potential of an engine out there I'm super excited for that to happen and then there is one more engine option which is kind of confusing to me because I'm not exactly sure it's gonna work but it is gonna be a 3.0 liter naturally aspirated v6 again but it's gonna be a hybrid and I don't know exactly, this is why it's confusing to me, because most hybrids are, the, the gas engine powers the rear wheel drive, but then they put an electric motor on each one of the front wheels. So I'm not exactly sure how this one's gonna be, because these have always been rear wheel drive, obviously. And an all-wheel drive Z would be kind of weird. It'd be like a little mini GTR. I'm not saying it wouldn't be cool, but it would just be different. exciting about the hybrid one is that it actually has the most horsepower out of the three engine options because it's the gas engine on top of the electric motors. So the hybrid one is supposed to have 500 horsepower, which would be interesting to see how exactly it puts down the power and everything like that to see if it's actually the better option over the twin turbo. I'm kind of curious to see what racing teams or what people are out there going to do for modding and stuff. I wonder which route they would choose. There's going to be a lot of differences and a lot of pros and cons about going each different route. So I'm pretty excited to see how people will actually mod these cars and the potential of them, like I said earlier. I said in this article that the engines are going to be paired with a 7-speed twin-disc automatic transmission, which is actually pretty cool because that it's going to be really smooth, it's going to be sharp, and it's going to have a little bit shorter gear since it's going to be a 7-speed. Now, they didn't say anything about a manual, and I could never see the Z getting rid of manual, so I really hope they bring something to the table on the manual, because I would honestly never, ever, ever get one if it wasn't manual, unless I was going to do it for drag racing purposes, I guess. But it's not like I can afford one of these things anyways. I really wish I could buy one and review it on the channel and everything like that, but there's just no way I'm going to be able to afford one. Maybe someday. Someday on this channel, I would love to have each Z as it comes out, even though they're spaced apart like eight years. But that would be really cool to get each generation of them as they come out and review them and kind of have them on the channel. Sort of like a Street Speed 717 sort of setup. But all in all, I am really excited about the Z. It is supposed to come out to, uh, next month in October at the Tokyo Audio Show. So be on, like, keep your eye out on that. Um, the new Supra is supposed to be there as well, so that's pretty cool that they're gonna have both of them there. Although I think the Supra is kind of turning into like a supercar is what it seems like. 
it's not really an affordable sports car it, from the looks of it. It kind of looks like they're going straight supercar, which is kind of sad because it's not going to be sticking to its original origin and everything. But I'm definitely excited to see both those cars. Um, I've always been more of a, well, I can't say I've always been more of a JDM fan because I used to really love muscle cars. But the older I got, the more I got into JDM and just how, I don't know what it is about them. I just think they're awesome. So I'm really excited to see the new JDM cars coming out because really, they're not really putting anything to the table right now. There's pretty much just the 370Z and the FRS. And I'm sure I'm missing a few. I'm not talking about the Subarus and something like that, even though, yes, I know they are. But for the sports, the real wheel drive sports car segment, there's really just the 370, the FRS, and that's about it, honestly. So, and the FRS is a great car. It's just lacking the power, of course. They just, they need to make a turbo option, kind of like an STI option. That'd be pretty cool. Then it would be really up there. I'm sure a lot more people would get into it. A lot more people would mod them and stuff like that, even though plenty of people already mod those things. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are as excited about the new Z as I am. I hope to do another video on it when it finally comes out, kind of thoughts, reactions, stuff like that. So be on the lookout for that one. And then also it has been 250 miles since I installed this clutch. So I will be doing a review on this whole clutch and flywheel setup in a little bit probably give it another week or two before i really start reviewing it i'm still driving it pretty soft i say pretty soft i've launched it a couple times but yeah be on the lookout for that as well and then also once the clutch gets fully broken in and everything um my buddy with the type r and i are going to race again this time we're going to do some more roll racing and probably some more digs as well so and I'm really excited to have the GoPro for that one because it'll have a way better view than the last race we did. That was kind of the downfall of that. Um, we didn't really get good angles and you couldn't really tell who was winning and stuff like that. So we'll definitely have better angles for the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.